All right, welcome back, guys. Ape Skull Gamer back with some more Spyro into the Dragonfly. Now we're gonna go off to the sticky honeycomb mothers. Well, that should do it, Spyro. Hop aboard the raft and get ready for the Honey Moss Rapids. Okay, you hillbilly. You hillbilly, Jimmy, Jimmy Hillbilly Bob. I actually like this level. The last honey thing they did was in Year of the Dragon, which was the um, honey speedway, honeycomb speedway. Yeah. I actually like Honeycomb Marsh better than I like the Speedway. I mean, I'm not really a Speedway person anyways, but I kind of wish they'd actually revisit another Honey level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one thing I will honestly admit, is I actually wish they'd come back to like another Honey level. Because this level was pretty cool. I thought it was really neat seeing that sticky, gooey, juicy Honey out there. Welcome to Honey Mars, Spyro. Them Rick Talk critters have messed this here place up, but good. <laughs> I tells you what, I'll make you a deal as sweet as honey. There are some honey stills draining all the honey from Honey Mars. You help us get rid of them, and any of them there dragonflies you're going on about that you find along the way, you can keep. Just keep that between us now, you hear? Alright. I like the little beehives, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I do like the little beehive things, that's pretty neat. Ouch. I like how the honey actually like hurts. It's, it's kind of like water in this game. Where it like stings Spyro. I like how they used it as a, like a thing you have to glide across and stuff. Get rid of the banjo players. Yeah, maybe the banjo players. Let's get rid of them. Oh, this dude with the gun. It's like a ray gun, practically. A lethal weapon of shooting honey sickles. Good lord. Alright. Alright, cool. So now we've gotten through that. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Take your sickle and stick it up your poops, you. You sickle loving lover jacker. I'll admit, this level does not load well. I will admit that with pride. This level loads like poop sometimes. And there is a mini game in this that I don't like, and they revisit it. Luckily, it's been so long since we've done one, so it's not the worst thing in the world I could live with it. Hey, I didn't say you could shoot me with that. Hello! Okay. Did some of these jimmies. Make sure I don't fall into honey, stick honey McMarsh. Um, we're gonna backtrack a hair just because I want to get a pig. Because the pigs are what give sparks the butterflies this time. So we're gonna backtrack here and flame this baby little piggy here because I do not want to go any farther with no sparks. Thank you. Flame to the first time. Oh, look, another one. Thank you. At least I got some kind of sparks. Oh look, I missed the gem. Look at that. Good thing I came back. Luckily I just don't want to. Oh look, I missed another one. Wow, sparks, you're doing bad. Alright, so now that we did that. This level is actually kind of challenging. I'm not going to lie. This level's actually got some challenge to it. As far as platforming and stuff goes with the enemies and stuff, they actually are threatening in this level. I do like climbing up these stumps though. Oh, see, there was a free guy right here. But how was I supposed to know that? Ouch. Cool. Thanks. I, I didn't really want to watch that run animation for too long. Cool. I'm glad he missed because... Why not? 
Get rid of them. Shut that thing down. Alright. Get rid of those bees. Like I said, the level itself is really cool. I really actually like this level. I actually really, really do like this level. The whole climbing on the tree stumps and stuff, and the sticky honey being all around. This level was pretty neat. I actually wish they'd do more levels like this, to be 100% honest. Yeah. Because I know as much as this game is bad, I do really actually find a level. There's a level here and there that I do enjoy. Like I said, the enemies are actually threatening in this level. Yeah, they're actually kind of threatening. It's kind of actually cool. It's unique. It's different. Oh, I don't know how I did that, but whatever. Okay, so now we're going here. There's that stupid level I don't want to do, but I'm going to have to do it because... We need all the dragonflies we can get, because by the end of this we have to have 80 dragonflies between this level and the next one, so... Because the last level, I think, takes up 80 dragons. So... Gotta have 80 dragonflies by the friggin' end of two levels? Yeah, good luck with that. So... Can't be picking and choosing which ones I don't want to deal with. Excuse me, bubble breath, you. Hey, it's Suzuki. Suzuki, it's a it's a Suzuki. I named you after a car, Suzuki. Suzuki, I choose you. Ow. This was a random headache. I like how they try to bring back the thieves and stuff. I don't like the way they're designed, but... No. Look, Spyro, that thief was holding a dragonfly. Hey, it's Duckweed. That's a name for you, Duckweed. Might as well just named him Buttweed and been fine with that. Yeah, you might as well just named him Buttweed. I go through all this area here while I'm right here. Grab that. Okay, so now that we've done all that, now we can go through this portal. Because we're actually going to go through the portal here because I don't feel like backtracking right now. Not for this stupid level. Not for this dumb mini game. I just don't like it. Because we're back to the root and toot and tank shoot and poop and shoot poop. I hate the tanks. Like I said, as much as I like Honeycomb Marsh, this hurt it. Yep. This stupid tank level. Welcome. You just had to include the stupid, stupid tank level. You couldn't keep it out of this. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool because this one actually shoots bees instead of other tanks. Because to me, that was kind of dumb. Yeah, that was pretty stupid of it. You're shooting the rip tox and stuff and shooting down. The goal is to shoot bees. That's the goal. Okay, get rid of you. Okay. Where the heck you're going? Oh, look at sections of bees. Luckily, there's not very too many. Oh, Jesus! I didn't even see the stingers coming.
Come on. The idea of this one wasn't too bad. I actually didn't mind this one as much. Better than the dojo one. I just don't like these stupid tank sections. No, I find them very boring. I just find these stupid. Get rid of the bees. Come on, bees. Like I said, most of it is just on rails at this point. Like, it's not the worst in the world. I just don't like the tank. Most of it, like I said, most of it is just on rails. It's mostly just sit here and shoot these two bees. Like, it's really not that bad. No, most of it isn't too bad. Got it. Barely, but we got it. Awesome shooting spot. You win the grand prize. Luckily, you only got to do it once. Hey, it's Pliskin. Pliskin. Well, we're all out of them dragon. F yeah. Okay. Nah, I'm good. If you don't got no dragonflies, I ain't doing no shooting. No, thank you. I am not a fan. But like I said, that one, I, I give it more cur I like that one better than I like the dojo one. Just because that one at the end there, you're literally all you're doing is sitting on that little honeycomb going on the little trip there, shooting the bees that are up there. So, it's not the worst. The dojo one takes longer. That's the problem with that dojo one is that one takes longer. That one's pretty quick. That one only lasts a couple minutes. That I don't mind. Still not a fan of the tank minigame, so it's still not good, but um, I still like the airplane better than I like the tank because as, mu as bad as the airplane low levels are because they're stupid, because you literally can just shoot un unlimited missiles, they still play better. They still control a lot better than the tank does. The tank is very stiff, and that's like the big thing. Like I said, the, having the bees here was really cool. I like the bees. I like the whole like concept of the honey and stuff. And ooh, hey, it's Russell Tim. Russell Tent. You say Russell Tim or Russell Tit? Like, um, excuse me, I'm confused. I like going up in this tree. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna go up here and stuff. That was pretty neat. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Not right, so now what? Well, we gotta glide over here. Because there's a key. Yep, there's a key there. Which is pretty cool. Like I said, as glitchy as this game is, there was some redeeming factors of this game. And this is one of the levels that I really do like coming back to. Yeah, I like coming back to this level. I like coming back to the monkey level, the monkey monastery. Um. The Thieves Den, to a point, I mean, that was, you'll see why, that, that had a cool idea, but there are some things in that I definitely do not like. Ouch. Ow. Uh, Honeycomb Marsh is a really neat level, I just, some things, like I said, some things in this level are not my favorite in the world, but I do like this level still within you know, reason. It's not my favorite level in Spyro Into the Dragonfly, but it's definitely my top five. I would definitely give this level top five perspective. I mean, granted, there's only like, what, eight or like eight to ten levels? Come on, it's not like it's a very big game, but. Like, the Thieves' Den to me is kind of near the bottom, right next to the dojo. My favorite would have to be the Tiki level, and then Cloud Nine, and then. Uh, Probably this one, and then the Monkey Monastery, and then... Mm, and then probably the Jurassic level, because I liked that idea, but it was, that one's just very, very glitchy. You can definitely tell that was a last level thing, and then... Um, 
I think the cowboy stage is actually like one of my least favorite levels just because I just do not like that level. I don't find it enjoyable at all. Not really. I find it very annoying with the space cowboy, the space cows and stuff. The mini game with the whole like do the um. The whole like UFO thing that was cool. The platforming challenge sucked. I was not a fan of that. No, I didn't enjoy that at all. Um, I just didn't care for that a whole ton. It wasn't a level that I think did good. I don't think they captured the spiral feel because it's just way, way too open. And and I mean that like trying to be nice, but that level is way too open for me. Like, it is, like, unhealthily open. Like, there's nothing there. It's very boring. Like, this here, y you got some set pieces that are really cool looking in this. Like, the honey, like, the little honey rivers and stuff there with the um, thief there. We had to capture him right by the tank level. That was really cool. Like, this here, having to go from honeycomb to honeycomb for the gliding challenge here. This isn't bad. This is pretty cool. It's very unique. It's... I like how the honeycombs sink in the in the honey for a little bit when you're on them. Like I like how that works. Come on, don't you even do it. Yeah, knew that was coming too. And there was nothing. Look at that death animation. That's an old death animation. That's a Spyro 3 death animation. Yep, that's a Spyro 3 death animation. All right, so now that we've done that, thank you f so much for that. Now I have to go back and kill all the enemies, I think. Oh no, thank god. Why is it they keep them dead here, but they can't keep them dead when you come back in the portal? Just saying. I like the whole having to stop the honey from being sucked up into those res those reserves by the Riptox. I think that was kind of a neat little, like, thing that, you know... Because you always have to save the home. You always have to save the land from, like... A problem that you know is happening and that honey being sucked up was actually a really good idea I liked that idea a lot because I think it captured the whole like how like how honey's like a rich source rich nutrients or whatever you want to call it because it's very valuable so I mean that was they did a good job of capturing that I really wish you'd stop shooting those stupid laser beams at me. That'd be great. Would you quit doing that? Thanks. Have a nice day. Okay. Well, what the heck are you doing here? Okay, what do you want? We got ourselves a problem here. Well, these here rip talks have set up shop in our trees. They're using them bees to launch attacks on us. If you could wipe them all out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go see my second cousin, Warren Bob. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some Riptock butt. Well, them beehives are pretty tough, so you're gonna need to swallow those rocks. Oh, yeah, the whole, like, shooting... Uh, like picking up those stones there, the rocks there. What the heck were they? That stupid freaking. Um, what the heck are they? I hate the animation, how long it takes to do that, but. I will live. Okay. Luckily I don't get stung. Like I said, I really hate the animation the way it's designed. Luckily you can mostly just stand right here and destroy them. For the most part. I hate how long it takes to pick up this rock and it's Literally, like, floats in the wrong spot sometimes. Yeah, it gets kind of annoying. 
Boom. Okay. Nope, just messed up. That's poop. Okay, now that I got this mouthful of rock. What the? How did I miss? Like, what the heck? Hit the dang thing now. Thank you. Because I really don't want to go out there for it. Come on, reset the rock. So we can eat it. I hate how I had to wait for it to reset. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I try not to jump on these stupid things because it's just dumb. Yeah. Because you can shoot them all from right here. Yep, you literally can, so... Why would I sit here and platform all the way around and hurt myself when I can just... Do it right from here? Those bees are gonna keep respawning, aren't they? Yep, they are. They're gonna keep respawning. I keep getting that stupid bee. Let's see if I can go from this angle. Right here. See? Kabam. There we go. Took all the bees out. Because, see, there's nothing on this. You're literally just sitting here just trying to avoid the bees. So you have a clear shot. It doesn't do anything when you can literally just stand right within here and, you know, kill them all. I don't believe it. You did it. I told you I could handle it. I was a yeah. And you I sure not. There you go. <laughs> hey, it's Lily. <laughs> yeah, he's going to tell you some bull crap story. You got you know, Oh, I don't have it. Yeah, okay. No, you do. All right. Next time, guys, we're going to go off and finish the rest of Honeycomb Marsh. Yes, I'm going to do that because of the fact that I don't know how much longer this level has. So I don't remember if there's another portal. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first part of Honeycomb Marsh. Next time we're going to go off and finish the level. It'll be a shorter part, so that's fine. But until then, guys, this is Apes Call Gamer signing off. And as always, just keep gaming on.